I'm Una. I do project planning and other related content and today I have an update for Partners in Cream project. The Partners in Cream project plan which was started by um, Steph Lyons and Dylan from Outward Processing. They're super cool. You should check them out. They will be in my description. Today I don't really want to be filming this. My hair is super frizzy and it's not the best lighting but I'm really behind on like everything so um yeah it's the 13th not the 10th or earlier but I do have some progress so let's get into it um all right nothing's rolling out but I'm so so close on one of them so um in this project I'm currently working on four products three of those products are like finish goals and then one is usage goal so that's kind of the format I've been doing um so we're gonna start with my finish goals and the first of that is my Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. Um, this, I don't think you can really see progress. I will look at the comparison pictures. I just took them. Um, it's definitely skinny. There's only product here. It does take a little bit extra force to pull out all that, all that stuff that I said last time. I only used this 12 times since the last update, despite taking over a month to film it, um, because this past like week-ish my boyfriend was visiting me and I just didn't feel like taking a lot of time to do makeup and um a week like a week and a half ago that week <laughs> um was my spring break and I went to visit my friend and this explodes on the plane and so I did not bring it with me so it was like nine days that I didn't have this so basically this did was gone for like half the month and then the other half the month I usually did use it I still really like this I'm like I really like this blush it's a great blush so not a problem to use it but progress is slow usage is not great this month um compared to last month but hopefully we'll have a normal month in march march april it should be i just have a school so yeah that will be normal all right next um similarly is my la girl pro concealer you totally cannot see progress in this i think i've only squished up any significant amount maybe twice um and i've used this 20 times so yeah, again, not nearly as much as last time, but again, uh, when I did bring um, makeup, this doesn't explode, but it's just like way more of a pain to use than I want to when I'm traveling. So I brought a different concealer. I didn't even wear makeup that much, but the couple days I did, I brought a different concealer and um, did not use this. So this didn't get as much use, but um, I honestly don't even know any, I don't know anything about how fast this is gonna go. Um, it looks slow so far and that's fine. Next is the very exciting product, um, my Just a Tint in Shaka from Colourpop. This is what it looked like last month, and here is all that's left today. Um, and I'll show a picture of my little diagram. I don't know. I wear this a lot. Like I said, I just kind of forgotten to wear this uh, last month, and so I only wore it. I mean, I did wear a decent amount, but like not a lot. I'm like applying a lot. Um, this month I wore it. I wore it 39 times, but that's not in counting all of the reapplications. I've said this before, but when I count your reapplications, I usually only remember to count once per day. So I'll count once when I apply and then once more if I reapply. And if I reapply more than that, I probably won't count it. Um, and additionally, I use this a lot as a blush. I'm actually wearing it as a blush today. Um, and I didn't count separately if I used it as a blush and lip product. So more product for fewer uses. So yeah, I've used more than half of what I had left and I'm definitely gonna be able to finish this by next month. And I'm so excited. I will probably dig a little bit into the tube. I don't know how far down it goes. I will not make a point of scraping every last bit out. Um, before I count it as an empty. I probably will scrape every last bit out and use it, but I probably will count it as an empty before that because my goodness, I'm ready for this to be gone. Um, and I'm very excited by the progress I was able to make. I just took this with me literally everywhere, especially when I was traveling. This was super nice to have on for just like a little bit of lip, a little bit of cheek, do do do, you know? And it works pretty well with this actually. I layered them a little bit today because my blush is being funky. All right, <laughs> this is a super short project, but um, I wanted to participate so yeah next is my plum lipstick from nyx this is a gift for my friend i don't usually wear this shade and i would not buy it um this is what it's looking like you can see i think a little bit that it's smoothed over i've only used it four more times this month uh i obviously didn't take this with me when i was traveling i didn't make a huge point to use it i was wearing a lot less purple and um yeah, so I've used it so far 10 times in this project, which is totally fine. I am going to keep it in for one more month and hopefully get past 15 uses, maybe even like hopefully like 17, 18 uses would be ideal because that's like halfway to my goal for the year on this lipstick. Still smells fine, still applies fine. I'm wearing it today. Um, I'm not in love with the color, but 
I mixed it up with the other lipstick I was wearing. I've been in an eyeshadow slump, um, which means a makeup slump because I usually only put on makeup if I'm gonna wear eyeshadow and I really like eyeshadow. Uh, so yeah, I went for yellow today to see if that would brighten my mood. It seems to be working so far, but I don't know. Things just got kind of monotonous for a while and I'm working a lot of peaches in projects and I was just like, ugh. So I didn't wear a lot of makeup and I didn't feel great about that. I mean, it's fine, but I like wearing makeup. It does make me happy and I enjoy playing with it. So I'm gonna try and get myself out of the eyeshadow slump and hopefully that will also get me out of my makeup slump and I'll wear a little bit more crazy lipstick sometimes. So that's my update. Um, I've said in previous updates that if I feel like everything's under control and just chugging along, I might add in another project in this, another product just to hit pan, but I am working on a lot of cream products right now. So maybe I'll try to think about that a little bit more and stop rolling so much cream into other projects and all that. But for now, we're just gonna stick with this. I could also add, instead of adding a product to hit pan, I could add another usage product and that might be nice. Um, but again, I panning <laughs> makeup slump, uh, I think it's partially because I haven't been hitting as many pans on eyeshadows this year as last year and I literally decided to do a pan that palette of eyeshadows that already had pan in them and I thought I was okay with that but it's it's a little bit frustrating because the progress just isn't as easy to keep track of but yeah I'm hopeful that in the next month um I will get out of my makeup slump a little bit more I think finishing this will be really exciting um and hopefully that will help me boost my mood um everything else is just kind of chugging along and really hopefully I can use my boosted mood to use this. But if I'm just not feeling it, I'm not gonna push myself to wear a purple lipstick and I'll probably just roll it out next month no matter what. Um, Cause I just wanna work on a couple other things before this project is over. And we're almost three months into the year, so whoa. Um, but yeah, definitely check out everybody who's doing this project. It's a super cool idea. Um, I definitely think it was like in response to, not that it's not still helpful, but I think there's been a big cream liquid boom in the last couple years so it's not like I wouldn't use my cream and liquid products without this project but um for a lot of people that is what they were feeling and they really really love this project for that reason so yeah definitely go give some love to Steph and Delyn um I don't know how frequently Steph's been posting recently but she's so fun to watch I watch her like whole backlog um um and Delyn is wonderful and um updating super regularly so yeah check them both out check out everybody who's doing this project um apologies for being late I will try not to be late next month but again it's it's panning, so it's kind of whatever. <laughs> um, uh, and I had a lot going on this month, and um, I'm excited about that. I enjoyed myself, um, and I, I think it's good to prioritize other things over panning, even though I love panning. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know if you have any ideas for this project, what um, I could add to these updates or to this project to make it more interesting for you guys, to make the updates more interesting and less super speedy. Um, but otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of the support. If you enjoyed this video, I have tons of other videos to watch. I have officially been on YouTube for over a year now. Um, so that's very exciting. I joined in February of last year. Kind of forgot to say anything. Uh, when it actually happened but yeah so yeah go ahead and check out other videos if you want um or not and i'll see you in the next one bye